आजकल ना सब गाड़ी खरीद रहे हैं सोच रहा हूँ मैं भी एक आध खरीद लूँ बट मार्केट में कितने सारे ऑप्शंस हैं कैसे पता करूँ कौन सी गाड़ी अच्छी है अच्छा एक काम करता हूँ तो मेरे दोस्त को फ़ोन करता हूँ सुना कि आजकल ना वो गाड़ी रिव्यू करने लगा है हेलो हेलो इज इज शटर ड्राइव व्हाट्सअप और बताओ सर कैसे याद किया इस गरीब को यार मुझे ना गाड़ी खरीदनी है अरे पेट्रोल डीजल इतना महंगा हो गया भाई कहाँ इस सब चक्कर में पड़े हो ओला उबर यूज करके काम सलता रहा कर लो ना और क्या नहीं यार आज के लिए पैंडमिक वैंडमिक के चक्कर में कहाँ पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट यूज़ करेंगे सेफ नहीं है हाँ वो बात तो है पैंडमिक वैंडमिक चल रहा है आजकल कोरोना वोना अलग अलग वेव आ रहा है हाँ थोड़ा सा सेफ नहीं है काम करो अपना बजट बता दो मैं रिकमेंड कर देता हूँ दो तीन हाथ बैग हाथ बैग वाच बैग कहाँ आजकल सब बड़ी गाड़ी ले रहे हैं हम भी बड़ी गाड़ी लेंगे भाई का थोड़ा सा टेंशन है यू नो अच्छा बड़ी गाड़ी चाहिए देखो मैं वैसे तो एक्स यू वी सेवन डब्ल्यू रिकमेंड कर देता बट पेमेंट तुम करोगे और डिलीवरी तुम्हारा बच्चा लेगा बहुत ज़्यादा वेटिंग पीरियड है उसका काम करो कोई भी अलकजार वालकजार उठा लो आजकल चल रहा है फैशन बड़े बड़े सनरूफों का अरे ब्रो एस यू वीज आर टू मेन स्ट्रीम लेट्स गेट सम रिक्रेशनल व्हीकल मैन रिक्रेशनल व्हीकल वो क्या होता है पहली बार सुना है अपने पूरे तजुर्बे में क्या तुमने सुना है कि यानी मार्केट में कोई रिक्रेशनल व्हीकल लॉन्च किया है कारेंस कैरेंस पता नहीं कुछ तो नाम है ऐसे उसका बट uh, किया सेफ्टी वेफ्टी में थोड़ा सा सुना है कि एग्जैक्टली exactly, वही तो बात है शॉकिंग सुना कि पूरे के पूरे वेरियंट में अच्छे अच्छे एयरबैग घुसा दिया है उन्होंने और कहते कि पूरे सेगमेंट में एकदम टॉप है सेफ्टी में नंबर वन क्या बात कर रहे हो तो थोड़ा सा प्लीज़ गाड़ी को थोड़ा सा रिव्यू करके बताइए ना कि मतलब वो लेने लायक है क्या नहीं है कुछ भी जो भी अपना इनपुट दे दिया थोड़ा ठीक है मैं बात करता हूँ किया से देखते हैं गाड़ी कब अरेंज हो पाती है फिर बताता हूँ कैसी है गाड़ी अरे भाई आप वो सब का टेंशन मत लो अपन है ना यहाँ पे मैंने गाड़ी का जुगाड़ कर लिया है आपको मैं व्हाट्सएप में लोकेशन भेज रहा हूँ आप जल्दी आ जाओ ओ क्या बात कर रहे हो ए लो मैं यूँ आया वाह दैट वॉज क्विक आई एम ऑलवेज क्विक सो लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू शटर ड्राइव दिस इज जहूर हसन प्रेजेंटिंग टू यू फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम एवर अकीस कार विद सिक्स एयर बैग एज स्टैंडर्ड अक्रॉस ऑल इट्स वेरियंट बट वाइल वी डू अंडरस्टैंड दैट किया टेकन सिग्निफिकेंट एफर्ट्स टू मेक दिस कार सेफर बिकॉज देर रेपूटेशन हैजन बीन वेरी वेरी गुड इन द इंडियन कार मगर इन टर्म्स ऑफ सेफ्टी बट आई एम रियली रियली हैप्पी दैट किया टुक दिस प्लंज ऑफ फिक्सिंग इट अपार्ट फ्रॉम द सेफ्टी एस्पेक्ट हाउ डज द कार ड्राइव How good are the exteriors? Is the interior quality top notch? And more importantly, Am Janta wants to know what are the features that Kia has stuffed into this package in the form of Karens. We drove all the way from Bangalore to this beautiful place called Hassan, which is approximately 200 kilometers, to find many, many, many answers for you. <laughs> There's a saying that if you buy a car and park it and don't turn back to look at it, you have bought a wrong car. Which means that the design, the looks of the car are very important. But talking about the Kia Karens, it's a slightly polarizing design. Of course, it's not as polarizing as the Hyundai counterparts of Creta and Alcazar. But in the recent poll that we had on the Instagram story, not many people, not 100% of the people approved of the design. Roughly around 70 to 80 percent of the people is what that told that they like the design of the car. In fact, I feel that the car looks best in white because there's a lot of black that's contrasting here. But there are other colors like say the reddish, which doesn't really really stand out. And again, of course, designs are personal, subjective opinion. So please take care of that. So moving to the front design of the car, you have. LED headlamps and Kia claims that these headlamps are pretty powerful. Of course, we're going to check out them later at night. And these are the LED DRLs. But Kia says that the LED DRLs are inspired by. Hold on a second. Let me just check in my phone. Uh, it's a pretty complicated thing. So Kia claims they are star map LED DRLs inspired by constellations. They lend a distinctive visual edge through sleek and avant-garde design. Brochures these days are so complicated. Nevertheless, these are the LED headlamps and LED fog lamps, and there is a chrome strip running across the front of the car. 
what's slightly surprising is the grill is completely blacked out just like how it is conventionally in an ev of course i'm not telling that the grill is completely block, blocked here because you have the placement much lower here and also the placement of radiator is quite low is what uh, we noticed actually apart from that uh, the design looks uh, pretty bold it, in fact it's one of those cars that's definitely not going to be lost in the crowd it's going to get noticed that is for sure there's a lot of blacked out elements especially when you are uh, purchasing the lighter colors like this white and apart from that this is the new kia logo a lot of companies they prefer changing the logos over the period of time for many reasons and this is the new kia's logo and i think that this logo is definitely better than the previous logo of course a personal opinion then apart from that you do have a couple of parking sensors here which should help the car in uh, safe parking in tight conditions but let me point out one thing that the alcazar gets a 360 degree camera which the kia carens is missing out probably that's something that's going to be bothering for a good chunk of customers <laughs> So moving to the side of the Kia Carens, so the first thing that you instantly realize is the stance of this car is not very very tall or something. So and what I'm really liking is Kia has specifically told that it's not an SUV unlike other manufacturers who stuff in extra ground clearance for hatchbacks and claim that to be SUVs. I'm really happy that Kia has gone one step ahead and told that this is a recreational vehicle used for chilling and all but not an SUV exactly which is I kind of agree to it. The stance looks more of the MPV like the XL6 or something instead of the XUV700 or something like that. Uh, so moving on, we have these alloy wheels here. It's, it's much much better than Alcazar. Not sure why I'm comparing Alcazar to this every time. I'm not supposed to do that actually. But uh, just saying that Alcazar's alloy wheels are one of the most underdesigned alloy wheels. But uh, unlike that, this is really nice here. There's a lot of uh, black and uh, chrome garnish mixed, which gives it a very nice touch, especially in the white color uh, exteriors. These alloy wheels, they actually complement quite nicely. Uh, thumbs up there on the design. And of course, you get uh, disc brakes. Uh, the good part is there are disc brakes on all the four wheels of this car. And not just that, Kia claims that the 100 to 0 braking is the shortest in the Kia Karens compared to any other car in the segment with a 42 meter distance, which is phenomenal. How good is it in the rear world? Of course, we'll get to it very shortly. So after that, you do have turn indicators on the ORVMs, that is the outer rear view mirrors. And you do not get a request sensor here on the passenger side, but you do get it on the driver side. And then there's a chrome strip running on top of a cladding, which is already running on the doors. So you have a chrome strip, then you have the cladding, then you have the doors, which is a nice touch. Normally manufacturers, they either provide the cladding or they provide the chrome strip, but this is both the things here. Then apart from that, you have the LED tail lamps here and uh, these are again inspired by the space and constellations and a lot of things there and of course you get the turn indicators which are really really nice in design rear design is actually nice in this car and i kind of like the rear tail lamps more than the front headlamps and apart from that you have the kia badging here the new kia logo then they have the Karens badging here auto signifies that this is an automatic transmission the chrome strip here is quite thick in fact if you observe the details here there is some kind of uh, design on this chrome strip nice touch there kia but probably the thickness of this could have been slightly lesser uh, indians love chrome so kia is going to do what's going to make the indians happy so that the car sells more so logically kia is right in a way but i feel that there is more chrome than what is actually required in the rear and apart from that you do have two parking sensors here and there is a reverse camera as i mentioned earlier you do not get 360 degree camera here apart from that you have the shark fin antenna which looks nice on this car there is stoppage lamp there is a rear wiper and all those basic things that you expect in car of say even half the cost not a big deal there but uh, overall uh, the design of this car is good but 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 the most important thing that I've kind of measured and telling i'm telling it now is this beautiful strip of led lamp that connects to these two tail lamps which is actually the showstopper in the rear of the car ends. overall the design wise the car looks nice especially from the back compared to the front that's about it from the exterior design
so if I list down three reasons why I would buy the Kia Karen, so one among those three reasons is definitely going to be the interiors of this car. By interiors, I'm not just talking about the aesthetic appearance, but the fit and finish, the quality, everything is really, really nice, considering that this segment that this car is going to cater to. Of course, it's not that it's like the Audi quality or something like that, but it's really, really nice compared to the competition and it's definitely better than Alcazar. Okay, no more comparison of Alcazar to this, but so this is definitely better than what the immediate counterparts have to offer. First thing first, you have the beautiful flat bottom steering wheel here with the Karen's badge and the steering wheel is of superb quality, no compromise on that at all. And then more importantly, you have a paddle shifters here, which we are going to use over the course of time. And the quality of stacks here, everything looks really nice. I mean, I have really, really pulled them, pushed them, did everything with them, but no complaints at all. The, the materials, the quality of stacks, it looks everything really nice. Everything looks really nice in this car. And then uh, if there is one thing that I really did not like in the car, especially in the interiors, is the instrument cluster. It looks too plain. And it does not look premium. It looks more like the Kaiger and Kodish. Uh, really wish that Kia could have come up with a better instrument cluster design. There are three different instrument cluster options to choose from, which I'll show. But there is no variation in the uh, design, actually. Like, for example, in Alcazar, okay, last time, in Alcazar, you have different instrument clusters altogether. But here, it's not the case. You're just moving the color of the lights, which kind of does not make sense. And apart from that, you have the 10.25 inch infotainment system here. Uh, so here you have uh, cluster options, basically you can change the instrument clusters here and these are the climate control options and then you have up to 64 ambient lighting in this car. You can change the ambient lighting for up to 64 colors. And then there's a navigation system here and uh, moving to the display part of it, you can actually have the brightness of the infotainment system here. One thing that I want to point out is it's a bright sunny day here and the infotainment system is not very very bright. Uh, I wish this was slightly more bright. Uh, it's not a deal breaker, but just a bit of extra brightness would have helped. And then uh, this is the general settings tab that we have here, which ca which you can access all the system related information here. Won't go too detailed into that. And then you have something called as Kia Connect, which we have heard earlier. Uh, basically, you can uh, configure a lot of options for your car. You can share the current location and uh, you can do many more things. And apart from that, you have three user profiles. Basically, three different user profiles is what you can set in this car. Uh, in fact, what will happen is, for example, there is a person who is comfortable in Hindi. So, in user profile 2, you can change the language to Hindi. So, when that person drives the car or when that person uses the car primarily, he can just go to his particular user profile and everything here is going to change to Hindi. So, first person can have English, second person can have Hindi, like that, which is a very, very nice touch and it's a great uh, boon of convenience. And Apart from that, you have a lot of uh, Bluetooth connectivity options here. You can connect your phone to the Bluetooth, uh, which is there in most of the cars as well. And then this is the layout where you can change the themes of uh, the infotainment system and change the wallpaper and things like that. So that's about it. Uh, the responsiveness is probably 8.5 out of 10. And feature and uh, user friendliness, it's really, really nice. And that's about it. This is the screensaver. So, more importantly, there are very less physical buttons in this car. The physical button just for your ventilated seats, it's for your uh, rear camera. Then you have the physical buttons for drive mode, the this. And what I really like is there are two different charging ports here. One is USB and one is Type-C. I am really, really thankful to Kia for providing a Type-C charging port because I really ran out of charge in my phone. And this was the only savior for me to charge the phone. Uh, I've seen many manufacturers where they're stuffing a lot of USB ports. There's no point stuffing in too many same ports, but I think this is something really nice. And, and this is the uh, automatic gear lever. You have the PRND, typical, the quality of which is good. You need to hold this and then move to slot the gears. And apart from that, you have a couple of cup holders here. And talking about the comfort of the seat, I've driven this car for say four hours now, four or five hours, and they're really, really comfortable. Okay, for the last time, for sure, I promise. They are definitely better than Alcazar. The seats are really good, uh, beautifully leather wrapped, ventilated seat with perforated leather, which makes it a very, very nice and really easy going premium experience. And apart from that, you have uh, the switches here. The switches feel that they're able to last, no complaints there. And uh, like I said earlier, the doors could have shut slightly better. And then you have a uh, design here on this black panel also. That is the amount of attention to detail Kia has put into it. And trust me on this, Kia is very, very, very serious about selling this car. I'll tell you in the conclusion why. And that's why everything is very, very evident here. Uh, you do not get dual zone 
AC. Not a big, big, big fan of it. But this has a conservative price bracket. So Kia is not going to do, go overboard there. So imagine this. Imagine if you are uh, going on a date and it's a very harsh, sunny weather. And if you feel that you want a nice rainy weather, of course, there's nothing you can do. But Kia has taken care of this as well. There is something called as inbuilt nature sounds. This is the first time I'm hearing across something like this in my entire life. I've not heard about this in Mercedes, BMW, Audi, Volvo, nothing. Kia has literally gone overboard to stuff in everything possible in this car. There is air purifier, have different theme based of nature's life. For example, this is a rainy day. This is open air cafe. This is warm fireplace. This is snowy village and this is lively forest. Of course, you are going to uh, have a gist of it very shortly. So that's about it. Uh, overall, a good, good, good 9 out of 10 on the interiors. Um, 9 out of 10 because, and not 7 or 8 because, we also need to consider the price bracket that Kia is actually catering to with this car. So on that context, with that or in that context, a definite 9 on 10. There is no denial on that. Overall, really, really good work done by Kia here. So moving to the second row of the Kia Currents, this is the captain seat variant. You get the other variant where, I mean, the entire seat is one part which is nothing but 2 plus, 3 plus, 2, 7 seater. This is a 6 seater variant. And apart from that, you do get a small sunroof which will help you in getting some light inside. Now, I'll tell you a very, very important thing. People love sunroofs in India and people really, really, really are passionate about panoramic sunroofs. I'm not sure why Kia skimmed on it, a panoramic sunroof, but some people are going to be disappointed with the fact that its competition gets it and this car does not get a panoramic sunroof. Apart from that, one thing that's really nice is there are roof mounted AC vents. This is going to be loved by many people because roof aces are always good. And apart from that, if there is something nice in this car, it is this. But I want to point out one thing that please wear your seatbelt when you're using this tray because in case of a frontal collision, so it's kind of dangerous if you don't wear seatbelt. But uh, apart from that, this is a smart air purifier with virus protection. Not sure why everybody wants to have this, probably to kill coronavirus, but that's not going to happen. Please wear your mask or else you're not going to shoo away the virus just with the help of such fancy gadgets. But nevertheless, a good move by Kia there. And apart from that, you have a really nice uh, AC blower button here. But the quality feels flimsy, honestly. And apart from that, you do have two Type-C charging port. Uh, not sure why there are two Type-C charging port. I think one USB and one, one Type-C could have been better here. Because, for example, uh, if this is a non-Apple user, it might be difficult because there's just one USB charging port there in the front. And apart from that, some storage compartment here. And what I really, 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 really like is the uh, rear floor is kind of flat. Which means you can actually, uh, the third person, assuming that this is going to be a seven-seater, this is a six-seater, but if it's a proper full seat, the third person here will have a good time and his legs will not pain much. You have the sun blind here, which is going to be helpful in hot and humid conditions and talking about the seat comfort okay one thing that i did not like is these seats could have been slightly more supportive overall and slightly more bigger i feel that for captain seats these are slightly small i really wish that these seats could have been bigger but that said uh, you can actually adjust most of the things here like for example you can adjust the uh, reclination angle and this is going to give you a feel of say a boeing 737 business class i never gone in business class so i don't know how it is uh just for comparison and then these armrests are quite thin it doesn't feel very very premium but nevertheless a decent attempt i won't tell good but a decent attempt from kia motors to give you a lot of creature comfort and premium feeling here uh there's a lot of lots and lots of headroom in spite of the height of the car not being so SUVish and being more recreational vehicle as kia wants to call it uh the under thigh support is actually good and what I really like is the seats are comfortable. The foam density of the seats are good. The seats are comfortable, which is one of the most underrated thing in any cars. So talking about the second row overall, a nice place to be in. Uh, there's both speakers here, eight both speakers in the car. Overall, a nice place to be in even the second row. Just that the seats could have been more butchier and more supportive compared to other cars in the segment. Imagine you have had a tough day surfing, trekking and whatnot and you come back to your favorite recreational vehicle to have some nice sleep in the second row and what happens in most of the other cars is which are three row cars you need to come fold the seat press the seat open the seat push the seat do all kinds of circles but one thing that i really really appreciate what kia has done here is with the tap of a button this seat is going to open and this is just fantastic 
I know that you would prefer to sit in the second row if you actually want to have a recreational time. But nevertheless, press the seat here for your third row. Uh, mind you, the second row seat is pushed all the way behind. And I'm going to talk based on that. First things first in the third row is you get adjustable headrest. And what's more important is roof mounted AC vents in the third row is a big, big, big thumbs up. It makes a lot of difference having uh, AC vents on the ABC pillars or on the roof. Roofs are always better. And uh, so that's going to make your experience good. But apart from that, just like any other or most of the seven seaters in the market, the legroom is very limited. In fact, I'm sitting and I'm already touching my knees with the second row seats. Not a really, really nice thing, but I think uh, it should be decent enough for a couple of hours, max to max, one and a half, two hours for adults. Kids probably say four to five hours, nothing beyond that. Don't expect anything beyond that and you're also going to have a new enemy for your life. And apart from that, uh, typical, of course, you do not get ventilated seats in second row and third row. It's just the leather seats and you have a cup holder. Again, Type-C charging port here, Type-C charging port here. One, two, three, four, five. Five Type-C charging port and one USB charging port. This is a lot of injustice to non-iPhone users or people who are not going to use Type-C charging port for their phone. And apart from that, there is a cup holder here as well. Uh, so in a nutshell, it's satisfactory. Uh, considering that seven seats are always better than five seats, it's more than satisfactory. Of course, this is going to be uh, advantage if you actually use the car uh, for your recreational activities and fold the seats for your luggage. But in case if you want to have people, not a bad option for a couple of hours, but anything beyond that is going to be a strain for sure. And yeah, that's about it. Uh, overall, a uh, decent place, not the best, but a decent place to be in. So on papers, this is the boot, but practically in real world scenario, how big is it? Let's see if we can accommodate this. So this is the uh, cabin bag that is allowed in an airplane. So the bag can actually comfortably sleep here and you can stuff in two of these cabin bags and still have space for a small backpack or probably two more laptop bags, which is actually quite satisfactory. It's nowhere as bad as the XV7 Double, which is a big, big relief because you cannot stuff in anything there. And talking about boot space, I just realized that we reviewed the Tata Diego CNG which has 80 liter boot space, not comparing this to that, but just for reference, the boot space should be at least this much where you can actually keep two bags. Let's see if the boot actually closes with the bag. Yeah, the boot closes with the bag so you can easily stuff in two cabin bags. But more importantly, you can actually fold the seats completely so that you have a lot of boot space, a lot more boot space. You can have probably one, two, three, four, probably seven to eight of these bags. All in all, this Kia's diesel auto suv is in the punchiest suv in its class but in urban conditions when the drivetrain isn't under serious pressure it's extremely smooth and efficient we would like to remind you that this six speed gearbox is the only option that karen's offers in the diesel automatic family without a second thought i would pick this engine gearbox combo or the one in alcazar because it's tuned much better here but that said I would certainly reiterate the fact that this car is definitely capable of handling better numbers and the fact that you get a 115 bhp engine when the competition is offering up to 200 bhp for the petrol variant read xuv 7 w is something that might keep the petrol heads a quarter mile away from either of the korean showrooms because this engine is also shared with the hyundai alcazar the part delivery is slightly linear in the early stages and then uh, towards the mid range is very slightly punchier and it tapers down at the higher end and you just heard her right so basically she also warns of the road signs like for example if there is children crossing ahead she tells out in this speakers that there is uh, children crossing ahead so that you are just more careful have the uh, six speed automatic gearbox here and one thing that I really like is the gear shifts are actually nice then definitely not unpleasant that I had expected because I drove I drove the Alcazar off late last week and it was quite disappointing there because there was a lot of lag in the gear shifts because the gearbox did not exactly understand the speed with which the car is going and it was not able to comprehend that and change accordingly. So that's not the case here in the Karens. Things are much better here. And apart from that, talking about the gearbox, you do have paddle shifters as you can see here. Just slotted into paddle shifters. Honestly, not a big, big deal breaker as said. Not that they're very enthusiastic something, but having paddle shifters is definitely not a bad option. That's for sure. And this is the horn of the car. So, wind tone variant, really, really thumbs up on that. 
and talking about the one of the most important aspects in a in driving a car that is the steering feedback the steering of course uh, just like other hyundai's and kia's is pretty light at low speeds and then once you weigh up it uh, weighs up gradually but once you touch the 80 to 100 mark it really weighs up which i like it and you have three different driving modes the steering also calibrates according to that so this is a sport mode what happens in sport mode is the steering weighs up slightly earlier compared to other two modes which is the echo and normal mode so what's going to happen is the gear shifts are going to happen later in sport mode there's only difference apart from that there is no real calibrated difference as such that i found kia claims that this has the best in segment brake and that's slightly evident because uh, we did some decent braking that uh, i mean from good speeds while coming back when the road was safe and the braking was satisfactory of course there is like the brakes are like say 90% it's not 100% as such because there is some bite that's lacking from the brakes but apart from that good to go not a big deal and i'm pretty sure that uh, the petrol engine is not so responsive because that drove that in alcazar say a couple of months ago and it was not impressive not sure i'm not going to comment that it would be the same here in the kia karens as well because although they are from the same breed there are quite a number of significant differences in both the car and there is no second thought that i'm going to pick the karens or the alcazar i'll have a detailed post on instagram about it later uh, so this is the throw of the wipers something that we got to show because the screen is dirtier and uh, let me tell you that the throw is actually really good before i stepped into the karens i was expecting good dynamics from the car or rather rv as kia wants to call it for recreational vehicle and we are happy to tell you that it doesn't disappoint the ride and handling setup is quite user friendly which is typical of a family vehicle during a drive on the highway we got to push the car at good speeds on the curves and boy there was absolutely no moment of nervousness even at ambitious speeds what i really liked is that the car resists any kind of drama when it is being pushed at high speeds reason in this favor is the relatively lower center of gravity and the not so tall body suv design with the highways getting better and road trips becoming the norm these days it's important that road legal high speed behavior of cars have to be impressive and that's where the karens hits the bullseye unless or until we are talking of some road manners exhibited by low slung sedans on the plus side the karens exhibits high levels of refinement over bad roads road noise is minimal okay make that almost pin drop silent and the suspension remains rather quiet as it irons out all the jittery surfaces we did get a chance to drive the car on some of the most unpaved tarmacs and this proved to be a great recipe in checking out the harshness of the suspension if any and we were left with a smile on our faces all this results in a soothing and comfortable drive that one would expect from a vehicle costing over a million bucks at least for this variant in a nutshell you will eventually end up thinking that the car gets 16 inches of rubber as bigger tires do not necessarily mean good all the time what matters more especially in the comfort department is the taller side walls given a chance to nick pick on the rubbers we wish that kia could have onboarded a better oem for the tires instead of going the mrf way upgrade recommended so how good is this kia karens before that i'll just tell you a very short thing why this car is very important for kia if you look at the history of kia motors in india firstly they launched the seltos which was a blockbuster success it had everything that people wanted but unfortunately due to the safety reasons people started moving to other brands and then we had the carnival with which kia started to establish the very very premium image in indian consumers and then we had the sonnet now sonnet is an interesting proposition what happened with sonnet was sonnet was price slightly lesser and this didn't give the brand the image that they wanted the overall volume portfolio they wanted and that's where the current is going to be placed in the picture it's a very 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 important car for them because this segment is right now hot selling it's a very very hot selling segment the mpv the suv whatever you want to call it the 7 series segment is super hot selling right now and this has just arrived at the right time and this has all the wait a second let's do one thing let's go back and call our friend who in the starting of the video had asked us if he should buy the kia currents or not of course after all it's because of him why we are driving the car here so i just had to give you the feedback of the currents uh firstly i think it's a very well propositioned 
car i mean you get everything that you want you have all the features that you want for of course if you're looking for panoramic sunroof that's a different case but then apart from that kia has tried to put in a lot of features dude what you might be interested in like for example you have ventilated seats that's the trend of the town right now and you have really good ac vents you know all over the floor and a lot of many things that are going to appeal to the consumers but I feel, you know, uh, Kia could have focused on smaller aspects, like for example, the instrument cluster looks very, very normalish, looks like a 6 to 7 lakh rupee car ka instrument cluster, and a couple of other small little bits, you know, the mm, 8 speaker system, although it reads Bose, I feel that it could have been better. The competition definitely offers better music system. If you're looking at this car, your next car as a value for money proposition that has everything for a realistic affordable price i think you will definitely have to head to the nearest kia showroom there is no second thought in that because the other competitors either they are not so feature rich or the ridiculously expensive toyota you know um, yeah sure okay Done, done. Let's catch up soon, but I just have a small advice. Uh, if you're picking the car, please pick the uh, top-end variant. And uh, my two senses, I think white color would match this car a lot. If you guys like the video of Kia Currents, the comprehensive review of Kia Currents, please follow us on Instagram and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't. And more importantly, please drop in your feedback in the comment section below because that's what is going to help us be better tomorrow than what we are today until then take care drive safe and more importantly mask up and pray that this pandemic ends over so that we could all start our driving and road trips again take care and bye bye signing off